just do what you think is right. So I get to choose if I kill or I'm yes, sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. No. <laughs> what happened? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Let's go to shit. No, I'm not coming with you, motherfucker. You're going down. I hope you all remember this moment. Let him go. Think of me when you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> Goodbye. For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Don't I like this? The north wind blows. Don't end like this. Please. Wait, what? This choice is blank. This choice is blank. This. 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 What? What am I doing? Game bugged out. I believe. Please don't don't let me do that again. Don't tell me I have to do that all over again. What, what, come on. Okay, there you go. Okay. That was so fucking weird, dude. Hey, Sheriff. Hey. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Ah, fuck. I'm stuck this chair. Uh, I'm out of words. Just. What the fuck? Oh. Game, don't bug out on me now. Please.
I don't think I've ever... I'm going! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Morning, Toad. Ah, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. Wait! Sheriff Bigby! I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye? Hey, Narissa. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help you. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to. I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe... Try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yeah. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. 
we had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just... Not enough for her, or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. At the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know, but they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the Crooked Man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait. I'll see you around. Wolf. That's Faith. Faith. Oh my god, she's alive! Why wouldn't you? Wow! What the fuck? You lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment, and you beat him while he was down. 
You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her another time. You impressed her with your detective skills. You fought him after the interroga interrogation. <coughs> you give him a you gave him a drink uh, when he asked for one in your apartment. You helped him to avoid the form. You took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. You chose to burn him with a cigar during the inter interrogation. You confiscated Dee's money while he was in custody. Oh yes, I did. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. You drank with Gren after Lila's, f Lila's funeral. You tried to take her ribbon during our final conversation. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive. I did. You chose to wait for him. You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Stop it. So I believe that was the final episode of the Wolf Among Us. It's... Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It's the final episode. Wow! Fuck me. My mind is blown away. That was freaking awesome. I... Telltame Studios or Telltame Games. You know how to make a game. You know how to tell a story. Jesus Christ, this game was freaking epic. If you don't have the game, I truly advise you to get it. It's it wo it's worth every penny. But, oh Jesus! But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my let's play of the Wolf Among Us. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more videos like this and tell me in the comments what long let's play I should do next. I'm currently doing Bioshock, of course, but I can do another one at the same time. Until then, please stay awesome and peace.